What's going on guys? I got a ton of comments on my video that I did about washing your raw denim. And it was mostly people who were like, who has the time? Why wouldn't you just throw them in the washing machine with the rest of your clothes and just go on with your life? Why would you take the time to do a tub soak, hang them dry, go through all this stuff? It seems like a pain in the ass. And I get it. I mean, really, who has time for such things? But the thing is, is once you put some real thought into what you're wearing, what you buy, what your, uh, your wardrobe consists of, and it consists of some quality items, well, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, along with that comes a certain degree of maintenance and care that you have to put into them. And you will get the longevity out of it. That's one thing I need to say here is, you know, you make the deposit of care and maintenance and all those things which go into just maintaining some decent quality stuff, you do get it back in better looking, better wearing, and longer lasting materials. And to me, this is one of the most enjoyable parts of owning this kind of thing is the maintenance. You know, when you're cleaning your boots and you take them and you're scrubbing them, maybe you got some saddle soap and you're going at it and you're looking at the stitching and the sole and you, you know, you say, well, maybe I got a couple more years before I have to get them resold. You see, maybe there's some loose stitching which you need to take care of. Most of the time, they're so far away from you that you don't get a chance to really get up and up close and personal, or you don't get to see that side of the garment, you know, the backside of your own jeans or the backside of your jacket, things like that. You don't get to see, and it's a chance to really admire the craftsmanship and the piece that you invested in. But as the father of a two and a four year old, I understand the benefit and the allure of time saving machines. I certainly don't hand wash every dish that I have, so I get it. It makes a lot of sense to use these machines when possible. So really, what's the worst thing that could happen if you do take your raw denim and you go ahead and throw it in the washing machine by themselves so they don't affect anything else and walk away? What's the absolute worst that could happen? Well, unfortunately, I did this very thing in the name of science, and the sacrifice happened to be a pair of Taylor Stitch Democratic jeans in their raw indigo. And these I got a few years ago. I've really enjoyed them. I never got them hemmed. I always sort of did, did like a double cuff. I soaked them once. I really have a pretty big rotation, so I don't wear them all that often to develop any kind of really... Uh, dramatic fade patterns or anything they usually don't get that dirty so one soak was okay and I decided what the hell let's throw them into the washing machine we'll throw it on gentle cycle low spin try to make it as you know gentle as possible on these jeans and just set it away well this is the result a weird 80s kind of acid wash look on one leg on the other side you have some really strange streaks uh, you know it just it, they look very strange now. Honestly, these jeans, they really deserved better. On the other hand, here are my Brave Stars. Now, I reviewed these a few years ago, and these have been one of my favorites, one of my go-tos, and I've only done tub soaks with them when they're dirty. So I've soaked them in the tub, washed them by hand, hung them dry, and they look great. They've faded uniformly and in the high wear areas. And it just goes to show that when you properly take care of something, the longevity is really worth it. You know, I mean, jeans, they're just so much like us. But you know what? The Taylor Stitch jeans, they're not doomed to a life of yard work from here on out. I think that what I'm going to do is, because I, I certainly can't wear them like this. I mean, they look kind of ridiculous. I think I'm going to throw them back in the washing machine maybe a few more times and see if I can get those fades to at least even out or at least just lose some of that indigo so it's not so dramatic. I don't want these high contrast weird fades in places where they just don't exist. And I'm not really sure what caused this in the washing machine if it was the spin if it was the fact that they kind of folded up and that's where the indigo got rubbed off or if it was just the natural motion of the washing machine doing its thing and rubbing in strange areas but either way they, they definitely look funky they look very strange and it almost looks like they're i don't know meant to be that way in some really weird fashion forward trendy way which is not my thing at all so i'm going to try to keep washing them get rid of some more of that indigo fade them out and hopefully they'll go back into the normal rotation now it should be mentioned that most likely if you have normal jeans most regular mass produced jeans that don't say raw on them won't have this issue if you have a pair of Levi's that you just bought from the ball, unless they're raw indigo, you can throw them in the washing machine without a problem. It's really only when you get to the raw stuff, which is when they've been dyed with either synthetic or, um, you know, natural indigo, which tends to be kind of rigid and flaky, which is why it actually breaks off of the, the 
cotton yarns, and that's why you get those fade patterns. If you have something that's more synthetic, like mass-produced jeans, you won't have this issue. So most of, most people with their jeans, go ahead, throw them in the wash. I did it for years. Matter of fact, I remember having my mother wash a pair of jeans a few times so they didn't look so crispy brand new back when I was in grade school because nobody wanted to be the kid with the new jeans. You wanted them to look like they were old. I mean, it was the 90s. Come on. So the choice is yours. If you buy a pair of raw indigo jeans and you want to wash them in the washing machine, go ahead. It's a free country. But unfortunately, you're, they're going to suffer the same fate as these poor, poor Democratic jeans, which it's really a sad thing. Maybe I'll just turn them into jorts or something. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will catch you next time.